Hello guys and welcome to this new Blender VSC or video sequencer tutorial. As you may know, Blender has also video editing capabilities and is a powerful editor. And today we will talk about a new feature in Blender 4.0 that I think nobody talked about and it is a little bit hard to understand without guidance. So the first thing is to enable the retirement keys. You can either select a clip like this and go under time here in the sidebar and enable show retirement keys and you see that we have these retirement keys here. Let's disable it or you can do it with multiple clips by selecting and then going to strip retirement toggle retiming keys or you can do it also with control r if you want a quick retirement you can also do set speed or you can use the shortcut r let's do escape and then with both clips selected we do r and we type in a new speed here 120 enter and we have this, we can see our retirement keys on the edges and we can see the new speed here in the middle. But sometimes you try to select a retirement key and you can't. If it is grayed out like this, you should again select your clips and do control R to be able to select them and move them. So now you can also manually move a retirement key like this, escape or select two keys like this, shift, left click and G, you can move with G. Or you can just click with your left mouse button and move manually like this and you see the speed value is changing here in the middle that's not all we can also add retirement keys in the middle of strips so with both selected we can go to strip retirement and go to add retirement key or escape you do i on the keyboard and choose add retirement key and a retirement key was added to both strips on the frame of course that the playhead is on so here again i retiming key and we added retiming keys to just this clip because it was selected and you can add retiming keys to a clip that is selected or that has only one key one existing retiming key selected so here again i add retiming key and it was added to this clip Control z let's select one point from here and one point from here and try again i Add retirement key and keys were added to both clips that had existing retirement keys selected. To select or deselect multiple keys, you can select and then do shift select, shift select, and then shift select to deselect a key from your selection. You can also use box select. If you have one key selected, you can box select to select multiple keys but here you see that it didn't work it selected the strips instead so for it to work you need to go to the tools by clicking on this arrow or using the t shortcut you click and hold on the tweak tool and you choose select box this tool works overall better on the sequencer than the tweak tool so if you have one key selected from any strip you can box select and it will select all these keys and now you can either move them with g escape or with your left mouse button you can select any keys you want for example this one this one and this one then g and you can move them like this and these keys are mapped to an actual content frame in the strip or an actual sound wave in this audio strip for example and you can visualize that if you try to move this key and you see that these waves here close to this retirement key are moving when you move the key and then the time in the adjacent segments as you can see will either stretch or contract you can also select a key for example this one and set the time with r just like we did in the beginning of this video maybe 83 just like the audio strip enter and we get this and to delete a retirement key, you select it. You do X or delete key on the keyboard and you see that the size of the clip doesn't change and the time is averaged. So if you have in your strip two segments with different speeds, you can turn the retirement key here to a speed transition by going to strip, retirement, add speed transition. And now we have two keys that are linked to each other. So moving one key, We'll move the other key in the opposite direction. It creates a transition of speed between 83 and 170. And you see that it respects the speed of the adjacent segments. Even if we're seeing some flickering in this value here, the transition can get longer or shorter without affecting the speed of the adjacent segments. Now, if you want to move this transition, you can select both keys and move them with G like this. And in this case, of course, speed before and after the transition will be changed now to the last new feature is freeze frame so we can select a strip like this and do i again and this time we select freeze frame and this will stop the playback of the video and you see that the speed changed from 122 to zero percent and you can increase the duration of the stop you can increase it even to the end 
and here it will stop playback to the end of this strip I don't know if you try to select and move now yes you can move it back and you can also move this back or forward and stop the playback wherever you want and lastly we have some limitations the freeze frame and the speed transitions didn't work well for me at least on audio for example if you freeze frame on audio you won't get a muted audio and audio speed transitions didn't sound right to me there is a bug when deleting speed transitions that is not fixed yet if you delete only one of the speed transitions so it is better for now if you want to get back your original retirement key to just delete both transitions x and then recreate your retirement key with i again let's select the clip first i add retirement key you also can't add a retirement key inside of a transition so if we try it we get this error here cannot create key inside of speed transition and the last limitation is that you can't create a transition to a freeze frame key or from a freeze frame key we can't get like a transition from 118 to zero percent and then stop playback and we can't get a transition from zero to 253 either so this is it for the new features i already submitted some bug reports and i may submit more because i get some crashes sometimes thank you for watching leave a like subscribe check my gumroad if you want to support the free content on this channel see you in another video and peace